This is a quick and simple instructional video on how to use the Expra Roller Coaster Trading Indicator, software that takes complex logic, makes it really simple, gives you the stop loss, the entry, and even where the trade management placement should be. Check it out. So the roller coaster, the Expra Roller Coaster has two uses. Sometimes you get the flyers, but a lot of the time, you get price action between support and resistance zones and that roller coaster motion is great for trading that type of uh, market condition. So I'm going to go through this. This is copper. I trade copper a lot. It's on the 12 minute Heikinashi. Uh, I'm using the Ninja Trader platform. Uh, so the version here I'm using is the roller coaster for Ninja Trader. I've also got my support and resistance zones on there, which are automated from the Guardian zone. So if you're not using uh, the Ninja Trader version of Roller Coaster, you're going to have to draw in your own support and resistance zones. In reality, what we've got here is a go through support and resistance really quickly. This pink down here is a 60 minute zone. This overlap of green, these are 30 minute zones. This is a 15 minute zone in uh, Cyan, and then there's a 30 minute zone up there. In the link down below this video, I'm going to put uh, the, the Guardian Zones um, link so you can check it out. So with the roller coaster, one of the things um, that we always say is you need fresh air, okay? So um, we need to make sure we've got enough fresh rewards. So what, to do that on Ninja Trade, it's very simple. We go to the drawing tool and we're gonna go to Fibonacci extensions. And the, what we're gonna do is click on the stop position, the entry, and we click again, and we can see we've got a one to 1.6 into that resistance zone. For me, that's really good. A lot of people might just go to the 100% line there and that's their minimum uh, criteria. So I've put that on there. And again, uh, it's very, very simple to, to save this drawing tool uh, as default. So this was a great trade. We had a lot of, we got enough fresh air, enough free space up until the next resistance zone. But what we do is we don't panic when it gets to that resistance zone because sometimes uh, it will push through. So the good thing about the roller coaster is we print the signal, this little green arrow down here, we have an entry line. So if I zoom in to this a little bit more, we can see we have the signal and the entry line here. So we always use a stop market order. It's gotta go through that start line if you like. So there's a few candles later, we actually get through that start line. We print the stop. And then when the price action starts moving, we start to move and put and print all the trailing stop positions. So all you will do is every time the candle closes, we print the new trailing stop position and you just adjust your trailing stop as that goes until finally it gets taken out. Very, very simple. This is adjustable. So you can just this, adjust this for more conservative. This is what we call the moderate uh, standard default setting. You can be more aggressive uh, and you can set that. So where you set that is, so we go into indicators here. We go to roller coaster and when we see stop line EMA at the moment is at 21, we could be really aggressive and change that to 13 or be more conservative and change that at 34. But that's the default setting there. So next we start to move into what we call a sort of range bound period after that. And these are the things where it's very, very important to understand uh, the risk to reward here. So we're coming down, we pull back on a slight roller coaster motion. Then we get a sell signal here. There is no fresh air to this support. We simply do not take the trade. Okay, so it's, it's a very simple rule with the roller coaster. Uh, have you got fresh air to trade into? So the next one we do, so I'm just going to draw that uh, fib extension on there. So the stop, the entry, and we can see the 1 to 1 1.6 here is before the resistance zone. So that's got fresh air. We take the long. The trailing stop position gets printed. You adjust it every time the candle closes. Remember, this is a 12 minute Heikinashi, so it's not scalping. It's very, very sedate. Uh, and you can, every 12 minutes, you're just going to move the stop. Okay, drag and drop. So the next one that we have is um, it's quite a big stop on there. So it's quite a wide risk. And when we look at that risk to reward, we're only one to 100 down there. So me personally, I would not take that. 
it was eventually a slight little winner anyway and you know this goes into the close as well so this is the sort of trade that we, we would ignore uh, the next trade it didn't even get taken in so remember we've got a start line here you know I've got fresh air so if I just put the fib extension so one two three clicks we've got a reasonable amount of fresh air there but it didn't go through our start line. We got a signal and then it just came away from us. Once it breaks that stop for the order, take the order off. That did not take in. We do not use market orders when we're trading futures. Stop market orders all the way to go. Price action then comes down to test this um, confluence of zones. Uh, we've got the two, the two overlapping 30 and then the 15 minute zones start to form at this point here we get a signal. We've got lots of fresh air. Once you've been trading this for a while, you will recognize that fresh air. But again, it's very simple, just a quick, just fib extension, stop, entry twice, one to 1 1.6. Really, really simple. Okay, fresh air. It doesn't trigger straight away. In fact, we that's the signal candle. We've got another 12 minutes and then we get that entry and it goes in. The trading stop position is still being uh, printed right now. This trade should still be in. It's trying to push through this 15 minute resistance zones, which is very, it was very crucial. A lot of people may panic at this point, um, but right now the, um, the price action seems to be pushing through, which is really good. And all we're gonna do every time the candle closes, we're going to adjust that trading stop position. It's very, very simple. All the logic gets taken care of behind the scenes with, with algorithms to print that signal, to print the trading stop positions, to print your initial stop loss position. All you need to do is get the operational landscape um, done on your chart. So those linear support and resistance zones on multiple time frames, so you can have that operational landscape ready. And it's something you should be doing every day, and especially at the beginning of the week, understanding where those major support and resistance zones are. If you're an Ninja Trader user, you're quite lucky in that we actually produce those automatically and take them off as well uh, on multiple time frames with the Guardian zones. So the links down below this video are for the, the roller coaster. Um, that it's available for lots of different platforms. And then the Guardian Zones is purely for Ninja Trader. But this is just a, an example of the very simple rules to follow. The whole idea of trading software is to do all the heavy lifting. You just need some very simple rules to follow when we get those signals. Okay, in this case, with the roller coaster, we really are looking for fresh air. Okay, uh, yes, it's good to look at the times of the day, uh, if there's any uh, economic data coming out and things like that. But, it, you know, in reality, this is a this, this is a hybrid stochastic MACD cross with three special points of control. And it's very complex to do manually. But actually, the algorithm just worked it out behind and just prints it on the screen there and even prints that trailing stop position. So very, very simple for signal and trade management. You just need to make sure there's fresh air to the next sort of resistance zone or support zone. Hopefully that helps. I'll speak to you really soon.